I got another quick video for you guys today. Um, a lot of people ask about how to strip different uh, parts of the lathe and everything else, and everybody has their own opinion on it. Um, some people use hot TSP, some people use um, electrolysis, which I don't know about you, but leaving something in water near electricity while I'm not home just never really appealed to me. Plus, you're going to need a big vat, especially if you're doing your whole lathe. Um, mine was four and a half feet long, so that's just not an option. Plus, uh, a lot of people recommend also citrus strip. Um, it works really well. It's very, very messy. And honestly, um, I can't stand the smell of this. Uh, it, it does tend to take a while. You have to paint it on there, wait, let it soften the paint, scrape it off, and scrape off the residue. Um, I have used this. It does work. Um, I just don't particularly like it. What I use, easy off oven cleaner. Uh, you can get it at Home Depot, Lowe's, any kind of big box store like that. Um, there's also a very similar product called Mr. Muscle. Basically the same thing. Mr. Muscle is a little more chemically smelling. This has some sort of um, you know, lemony scent to it, I guess. You're still going to want to use it in the ventilated area. I am in my shop, which is in my cellar, but I do have four windows down here that are open and I also have a fan in the window right next to me. Um, you're definitely going to want to wear gloves with this. If you get it on your hands, it will tend to burn. Also, it will dry out your hands like nobody's business. So you definitely want to wear gloves. Um, the good thing about this is it does take off uh, grease as well as the paint. Um, the Citrus Swip only tends to uh, take off the paint if it's clean. So you would have to use something like Purple Power first, then put the Citrus Swip on to strip your part. Um, you obviously don't want to use this to take off grease or anything, it will take the paint off of anything you put it on. Um, this is the uh, steady rest that I have. I picked up for my particular lathe. Um, I don't know how well the camera is here. I'm looking at it upside down, so let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. Give you a better idea what the edges of this look like. Sorry about my crappy camera skills here. So you're looking at basically Right over here, all this is paint um, that I want to get off to match my lathe. You can see it a little bit better over here. Here's the gray paint. There's a silver shiny metal. Um, the only other tools that you're really going to need is a um, brass slag brush from welding section of uh, Lowe's. An old toothbrush. And this is just a um, just a pipe brush. Uh, in a, you can get it in the plumbing section, different sizes. It's just kind of for getting into the um, different areas there that you can't with this bigger brush. So, shake this up. All you got to do is just spray it on. Let it sit for a couple of seconds, but it'll actually start working right away and you'll be able to brush the paint off this you can already see the paint starting to come off use it use your uh, little brass brush to kind of get in there it'll get most of it off the best part about this too is you can strip in one session in other words i can come down here strip apart let it dry, paint it all in the same day. I don't have to wait till the next day or anything else. Just brush it all off. If it does get dry a little bit, spray a little bit more on there. Ain't gonna hurt. This does get messy, so obviously we're all closed. And it um, goes without saying, don't use your wire brushes on any precision parts. Don't use it on any sliding ways or whatever else. Obviously, this really doesn't matter. So. All 
I'm not gonna waste time to go through the whole thing right there, but that's your basic idea. Then you just wanna get a big old bucket of water. Submerge the whole pot and then brush it right off inside. That'll take all the residue off. And everybody's gonna say it's kinda rust. But you gotta obviously <laughs> take it out and dry it right off once you're done and it won't rust. Haven't had a problem with it. Now you can see just from that little amount. Let me take my glove off so I can touch my camera. That little amount of scrubbing and time has taken the paint right off. You can see the only part of paint that's left on here is this little piece here. This is all fresh metal here. And also on the other side here where I was scrubbing, this is all fresh metal. A little bit of paint there as compared to the parts that I didn't really scrub. Still has paint on it. So it does take it right off. Like I said, you just got to scrub. Um, you know, all you got to do is you can see it comes right off on my finger. If I can get it back in the frame. That's the paint coming right off. Um, so I'm gonna get back to it and then I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done and about how long it takes. Okay, that took me about 20, 25 minutes. Um, took about two more coats of the Easy Off to get all the, in some scrubbing to get all the paint off of this, a couple more rinses. Um, but you can see, let me see if we can zoom in here a little bit. Everything on here. All this here where uh, all the paint and everything was. Again, sorry about the camera work, I'm looking at it upside down. Um, all of it's gone. You have a slight, slight amount in the, in the, in the very, very, very corners. Um, but it's actually below the roughness of the casting, so I'm not really concerned about that. It's going to be primed before it's painted anyway. Um, and besides anything that's going to survive, uh, all that scrubbing and the easy off is in there pretty damn good. Um, you can see, this is all nice and clean, it's all nice and shiny. And uh, all of the, uh, the jaws and everything, quick spray with that, quick wipe down. It was nice and spotless. All the hardware is clean too, and the lock plate underneath. Um, it's a very, very good method. It definitely works. Works for me. The only thing is, there is a smell to it. It is, it is a chemical. Anybody that is um, susceptible to any kind of chemical smells or is um, has a sensitive skin on their hands, don't particularly recommend it for them. Um, I use that stuff at work to clean refrigeration condensers, um, so I've, I'm, I'm used to it. Also, of course, wear the gloves. You can also get those thick rubber heavy gloves. Um, I don't particularly like those just because they uh, block the movement of my fingers. Um, everybody has their own particular method of doing it. I like this one. Some people media blast, um, cover up the precision pots, media blast. It, the only problem with any kind of stripping method you're going to have with these is most of these lathes are, were made before the 70s, so they do have lead paint on them. So if you media blast, that stuff's going to go airborne. Any stripping is also going to, whatever the uh, stripper residue you take off is going to be leaded. Um, as you can see, this is what's in the water here um, of the paint. What I do to get rid of that as safely as possible take all the paper towels and everything that you use to uh, wipe off all of that. All this is full of some of the paint. Put this in a Ziploc plastic bag when you throw it away. Also, what I do too, let this water sit for a day. It'll uh, want to settle. You'll, you'll see, it won't go completely clear, but the bigger particles will settle to the bottom of it. What I do then is I have an old Brita water filter take that, pour it through there, that'll get out most of the shit, um, throw the, the filter in the bag with those towels, wipe down the inside of your bin, get all the residue off of that, throw that in your plastic bag too, 
And I just throw it in my trash, but at least it's sealed. It gives you something. And then the water, you can either... I, I've been... I have an area on the side of my house um, that is all cement. And uh, during the summer, um, I used to have... I don't anymore. Um, I used to just have a... like a. It's basically like a trough. Um, do the water in that and let it evaporate. Um, and then whatever residue was left just got rid of it. I'm assuming that you can just, once you get rid of this, you can either pour it outside or do whatever you want. Most of the lead will be out of it through that little Brita filter. They actually work pretty good. When you pour it through, you'll see the color change in the water. Um, at least you're doing, you know, a little bit of something rather than just throwing it out there on your driveway or in your lawn. Um, and also, a lot of people are going to say, well, it's going to take a ton of cans of Easy Off to do it, and then they're kind of expensive. Well, um, I did my entire lathe um, with, the, with the method you just saw. Anything that didn't fit in this bin, which was basically the lead screw in the bed itself, um, I washed it all off. I took it outside and hosed it off outside. Um, this took me maybe one and a half to two cans to do my entire lathe and it did have a decent amount of paint on it. There were three layers that I could tell. There was the original at South Bend grayish green color. It was a light gray layer and then a very very dark gray layer on the top. Um, so there was a decent amount of paint on it and this took it off rather quickly and uh, not too bad for that considering that one little container of this is pretty damn expensive. Um, I want to say it's like 13, 15 bucks, something like that. Uh, 12 bucks around there. That's, that's pretty expensive for this, for this little thing compared to, um, I believe these are four or five bucks a pop. So, yeah, 10 bucks, I went through about two of them. This, you're going to go through probably a lot more, and you're probably going to have to do more than one coat of this to get it all off. So, that's just a quick uh, paint tutorial. I do want to, I am going to paint this. Uh, I would like to do it today. I don't think I'm going to get to it today. It's because it's uh, starting to rain out and getting kind of humid out here. I want the paint to cure as fast as possible uh, rather than sitting gooey down here and collecting dust. Uh, but when this is done, I'll post a picture of what it looks like afterwards. And that's it. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching the video.